hello beautiful people and welcome back to the channel if you're a new subscriber thank you for stopping by and if you're an old subscriber thank you for coming back today we're making this beautiful skit that has a drop-ins in front it's actually a diy skit nothing to hide it's just a simple skit so here are the fabrics you've been needing you've been needing your material your scissors and your zip and your tape roll and your chalk so here i was using a crepe but you could also use this kuba material the one that looks like a foamish material so here you just fold your material into two here i was just cutting out the um the edges of the fabric that were not straight that was because of where i got the fabric from you know when they are cutting the fabric from the fabric store it's not always straight so I'm just cutting it out so I could get the perfect measurement for my beautiful skirt. So after we've done that, we go into checking the um, measurements for the skirt if the material is actually going to be enough. So I forgot to mention I just used a one yard fabric for the skirt. You could also use a one yard fabric, but if, you, if you're um, bigger, you could use one and a half yards for the skirt. It's not something I need so much material. So yeah, I was just checking if the length was enough because I wanted the skirt to be very long. So my skirt was um, a 32 inches skirt. So yeah, I was checking if the droppings was going to be enough for what I needed it to be. I needed it to be seven and a half inches i was checking if by the time i take all the measurements it was going to be enough and it was perfectly the measurement i needed so after that i just opened the center for the zipper allowance that's i'm going to fix in my zip since the skirt is just a fold into one i'm having to fold it into four i said it's a diy skirt it's not something that serious anybody could just make it and rock it yeah so here i was just i took away three inches from the lower part of the skirt so the back could have a nice fitting so it's not just going to look like one street skirt and have a funny shipping at the back like all this grandma-ish skirt if you get what i'm saying so after that cut it out and then we take it to the machine to so the balance. So here I was just ironing out the zip balance. So after ironing it, so now we're going to be taking out one and a half inches from one side of the um the, the uh, material. I wanted to have one side longer than the other. So I took every one and a half inches. So here I'll just cut it out. So after cutting it out, you take your measurement. So here we're starting from the waist, which we already measured three inches away that we'll be using for our band. So after the three inches, you start from where the three inches ends, and then you take your waist measurement. And from there, you're going to measure eight and a half inches. That's where your hips is going to be. So eight and a half, depending on your measurement from your waist to your hip don't say uh, because i said it's eight and a half it's, it has to be eight and a half you have to be sure of what it actually is but mine is eight and a half and then from there we join our dots together so after that to take our full measurement which i already know so i don't know i just decided to mark that and then i needed a slit for movable you know so you can move you can walk very well because if i close everything down you will not be able to walk so from the um ends upwards i took away 10 inches for the slit and then i went up to just straighten that three inches i don't want to turn i don't want to give it a um arc shape so after that to go to our machine and fold our band by two inches so it will be one and a half and then you take away half inch for folding it in and if you want to fix a um what do we call this again i've forgotten um stay inside it you can just measure where your waist reaches and then you iron the stay 
to wear your waist bitches and you fold your band but i really didn't want because i really don't like um stay inside my clothes it makes me feel uncomfortable sometimes but then you could do it and here we're already just arranging our skirts together so we could pin it down you know the fabric is moving up and down so we don't make mistake while we're on the sewing machine so we just pin them down then after you've successfully done that just take your skirt to the sewing machine and sew on your already marked line yep so after you've done that see how your skirt is already looking just take a look at the beautiful skirt of it but anyways let's go back to the machine we're just going to hem round the drop areas we aim that first and then we aim the lower part of the skirt okay before that i was just taking away one inch from the zip allowance because i want the skirt to sit perfectly but i didn't remove that the skirt is not going to sit perfectly on the waist you know it's a stretchy fabric so the fabric is just going to be stretching and it's going to be bigger than my waist if I didn't take that out. So after that, I'm just going to um I said that already, I didn't know I was faster than the video. So after that we've gone to M it round, we've soon everything round and I think we already joined the zip as well and your skirt is ready. Just take a look at this simple easy skirts just take a look at it okay let me know if you made yours thank you for stopping by bye